Welcome to this week's episode of Brainstorm, where we give you a glimpse into the world of science for Wednesday, September 25th, 2013. We begin with a story from the world of medicine. Human testing and experimentation is one of the crucial final steps in any medical development, but it's sometimes tricky to pull off with all that ethics and stuff. Fortunately, some scientists at Imperial College London were able to conduct very safe human experiments by taking advantage of a naturally occurring event. Back in 2009, the swine flu pandemic was just becoming a thing, so a team of scientists quickly gathered blood samples. This blood was analyzed and compared to how sick the donors got over the next two flu seasons, with the hope of finding some kind of natural variants that made certain people less susceptible, which is exactly what they found with those reporting none or minimal flu symptoms. These people had an increased number of CD8 T cells, which is a particular type of immune cell that also known to target viruses. But it was unknown whether an increased number would have this kind of effect over constantly changing and evolving seasonal flus. The hope now is to create a universal flu vaccine by simply stimulating the production of these types of T-cells. Current flu vaccines are needing to be constantly updated, and even then, they're usually working with strains from last season that may not be currently prominent. Since there are already ways to stimulate the growth of these cells, such a vaccine will hopefully be developed quickly. But it will obviously take some time to implement this new knowledge as well as further human testing once a vaccine like this is actually developed. Let's end with a quick update from the world of chemistry as it applies to the environment. Whenever we talk about advances in solar power, biofuels, or other energy-saving technology, part of the news is that the new technology is usually cheaper than previous versions, which is important for making renewable energies economically viable in comparison to traditional sources of energy. So, funny story. For large-scale power production in the U.S., it's actually going to be cheaper to use renewable energy. This is according to a study published in the Springer Journal of Environmental Studies and Sciences, using the U.S. government's own estimate of the negative effects from CO2 pollution, both health and environmental, it will eventually save money to begin replacing coal power plants with solar and wind generation. Obviously, the facts being on the side of renewable energy never stop those that don't believe in climate change. But it's still good news because not only does it make ethical sense to switch to cleaner energies, but it can now be shown that it makes economical sense as well. Well, hope you enjoyed this episode. No question this week, but be sure to check the video coming out this Friday for some exciting announcements. Yay, no homework! <laughs>